Anatomy. This video will cover the topic inverse functions, cubic, cube root. In this topic, we will be presented a function with a variable term raised to the third power or to the one third power. Then, we will be asked to find the inverse of this function, which can be found by writing an x wherever a y is and writing a y wherever an x is. Let's start with the example problem. f of x equals cube root of 6 minus x plus 1, where we are trying to find the inverse of the function f. We should start by replacing f of x with y, right? That's right. Now that our function reads y equals cube root of 6 minus x plus 1, we can take the inverse of this function. Switch the places of x and y to result in the new equation of x equals cube root of 6 minus y plus 1. Okay, I think that I understand how to get to this point, but what's the next step? Next, we will attempt to isolate y. This is important because we already established that y equals f of x in the original equation. So therefore, y in the inverse equation equals the inverse of f of x. To isolate y, start by subtracting 1 from both sides. To eliminate the cube root, raise both sides of the equation to the third power. This results in x minus 1 cubed equals 6 minus y. Next, Subtract 6 from both sides and divide both sides by negative 1 to result in our answer of y equals 6 minus x minus 1 cubed. For our final answer, we should substitute the inverse of f of x for y, right? Exactly. Thus, our final answer is the inverse of f of x equals 6 minus x minus 1 to the third power. That makes sense, but can we do another example just to be sure? Yeah, let's look at the example problem. f of x equals x cubed plus 3. We'll start by substituting y for f of x. Next, we switch y and x to take the inverse of this function. Our equation now reads x equals y cubed plus 3. Next, we subtract 3 from both sides to further isolate y. Now we should take the cube root of both sides to eliminate the exponent of the y term, right? Exactly. This yields y equals cube root of x minus 3, which means our final answer is the inverse of f of x equals cube root of x minus 3, since this is the inverse function. Okay, I think I understand, but let me quickly summarize, just to be sure. We begin by substituting y for f of x, then switching the positions of the x and y variables. Next, we isolate the cube root expression, or the cubic term, and either take the cube root of both sides of the equation, or raise both sides to the third power. Once the y term is isolated in the inverse equation, we substitute the inverse of f of x in for y, to result in our final answer. That's right. 